Everything that's coming in your life you are attracting into your life. And it's attracted to you by virtue of images you are holding in your mind. It's what you are thinking. Whatever is going on in your mind you are attractive to you. Charles Hanel, the greatest and the most infallible law upon which the entire system of creation depends. The predominant thought or mental attitude is a magnet, and it will invariably attract such conditions as corresponding to its nature. John Asaroff, you become what you think about most, but you also attract what you think about most. Thoughts have a frequency. Here is the problem. Most people are thinking about what they don't want, and they are wondering why it shows up again and again. It's a don't want epidemic. You are a transmission tower, and you are transmitting that frequency with your thoughts. If you want to change anything in your life, change your thoughts. Bob Proctor, see yourself living in abundance, and you will attract it. It works every time, with every person. Bob Doyle, the law of attraction doesn't care whether you perceive something to be good or bad, or whether you don't want it, or whether you do want it. You don't press pause, you don't press stop. It is forever in action, as your thoughts are. Creation is always happening. Something is going to manifest out of those thoughts. It creates your future life. What you think about the most or focus on the most is what will appear in your life. If you are complaining or sympathizing with someone doing it, you attract more of that in your life. Your life is in your hands, no matter where you are now, no matter what happened in your life, you can begin to consciously choose your thoughts and can change your life. There is no such thing as a hopeless situation. Every single circumstance of your life can change. You attract to you the predominant thoughts that you are holding in your awareness, conscious unconscious. When you become aware, you wake up from a deep sleep. Your life is a mirror of the dominant thoughts you think. Use your free will to choose your thoughts and change your life. Affirmative thoughts are 100 times more powerful than negative ones. Scientifically proven. But believe that. Thank God that there is a time delay that all your thoughts don't come true instantly. This serves you well to reassess, to think about what you want, and to make a new choice. One way to master your mind is to learn to quiet your mind. Every great person meditates daily. It helps control thoughts and revitalizes the body. Just 3 to 10 minutes a day, to begin with, are sufficient. To become aware of your thoughts, you can set the intention. I am master of my thoughts. Say it often, meditate on it. Do you want to believe that it's just the luck of the draw and bad things can happen to you anytime? Do you want to believe that you can be in the wrong place at the wrong time? That you have no control over circumstances? Or do you want to believe and know that your life experience is in your hands and that only all good can come to your life because that is the way you think? You have a choice and whatever you choose will become your life experience. Nothing can come into your experience unless you summon it through persistent thoughts. Most of us attract by default. We just think that we don't have any control over it. Our thoughts and feelings are on autopilot and so everything is brought to us by default. It is impossible to monitor every thought we have, 60k day. We will get exhausted trying to control all these thoughts. Fortunately, there is an easier way, and it's our feelings. Our feelings let us know what we are thinking. Everything you see and experience in this world is an effect, and that includes feelings. The cause is always your thoughts. The emotions are an incredible gift that we have to let us know what we are thinking. You have good and bad feelings. The bad feelings like depression, anger, resentment don't make you feel empowered. Just ask yourself, how am I feeling? You can stop and ask this question often during the day, and as you do, that you will become aware of how you are feeling. It is most important to understand that it is impossible to feel bad and at the same time be having good thoughts. That would defy the law because your thoughts cause your feelings. Excitement, joy, gratitude, love. Imagine if we could feel that way every day. When we celebrate the good feelings, you will draw more good feelings and things that make you feel good. If you are feeling good, you are creating a future that's on track with your desires. Seize the moments when you are feeling good and milk them. Our feelings are a feedback mechanism to us about whether we are on track or not. So when you feel bad, it is a communication from the universe warning you to change thinking now. Counting down to manifestation. Warning. 
you can purposefully use your feelings to transmit an even more powerful frequency by adding feeling to what you are wanting. M.B. Beckwith, you can begin right now to feel healthy, prosperous, love, even if it is not there. The universe will respond accordingly. Take a few moments to think about how you feel. If you are not feeling as good as you would like to, focus on feeling your feelings inside and purposefully lift them. As you focus intensely on your feelings, with the intention to lift yourself, you can powerfully elevate them. One way is to close your eyes, shutting out distractions, focus on your feelings inside, and smile for one minute. Whatever thought is done in your life, it can be undone through a shift in your awareness. You have the power to change anything. You create your own universe as you go along. Bob Proctor, when you are feeling down, did you know that you can change it in an instant? Put on a beautiful piece of music or start singing that will change your emotion. Or think of something beautiful. Think of a baby or somebody that you truly love and well on it. Really keep that thought in your mind. Block everything out but that thought. I guarantee you will start feeling good. Make a list of some secret shifters to have up your sleeve. These are the things that can change your feelings in a snap. It might be beautiful memories, future events, funny moments, nature, a person you love, your favorite music. Different things will shift you at different times, so if one doesn't work, go to another. It only takes a minute or two of changing focus to shift yourself and shift your frequency. Animals are wonderful because they put you in a great emotional state. It's a combination of thought and love which forms the irresistible force of the law of attraction. There is no greater power in the universe than the power of love. The feeling of love is the highest frequency you can emit. If you could wrap every thought in love, if you could love everything and everyone, your life would be transformed. You can't harm another with your thoughts, you only harm you. If you think thoughts of love, guess who benefits you? So if your predominant state is love, the law of attraction or the law of love responds with the mightiest force because you are on the highest frequency possible. The greater the love you feel and emit, the greater the power you are harnessing. Charles Honnell, the principle which gives thought the dynamic power to correlate with its object and therefore master every adverse human condition, is the law of attraction, which is another name for love. This is an eternal and fundamental principle inherent in all things, in every system of philosophy, in every religion, and in every science. There is no getting away from the law of love. It is feeling that imparts vitality to thought. Feeling is desire, and desire is love. Thought impregnated with love becomes invincible. Marcy Shimoff, once you begin to understand and truly master your thoughts and feelings, that's when you see how you can create your own reality. That's where your freedom is, that's where all your power is. Albert Einstein, the most important question any human being can ask themselves is, is this a friendly universe? Step 1, ask. Sit down and write it out on paper in a present tense. I am so happy and grateful now that. And then explain how you want your life to be in every area. You must be clear about what you want otherwise it doesn't work make a habit to ask. If you don't know which way to go, ask. Don't ask for the same thing again and again. Step 2, believe. Believe that it is already yours. Have unwavering faith. Know that they will come at you at need. Don't fret and worry about them. Don't think about the lack of them. You must act, speak, and thin, as though you are receiving it now. Start to make believing. Have undying faith. You don't need to know how it's going to come about. If it takes time, don't get frustrated and doubtful. Step 3, Receive. Begin to feel wonderful about it. Feel it now. Whatever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. You can start with nothing, and out of nothing, and out of no way, a way will be made. Think of the car driving at night. Headlights can show you only 100 feet of road, and still you can drive 100s of kilometers distance safely. Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole universe. Just take the first step. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. You must feel good right now. This is important. If you are not feeling good, you can't attract good to you. If you want to make your body fit, praise and bless every square inch of your body. While eating focus on enjoying the experience of chewing the food. Feel the taste. 
Be completely be focused in the present moment. The benefits of food are best with this. How long does it take? Don't think about this at all. Size is nothing for the universe. It does things with zero effort. Create your day in advance. When you say I am going to have a pleasant visitor journey, you are sending elements and forces ahead to arrange it that way. We always complain that we don't have enough time. Things then happen that way. That increases stress and we chase time. Instead, declare emphatically, I have more than enough time and change your life. You can also turn waiting period into a powerful time to create your future life. Imagine having all things you want. You can do it anywhere, anytime. Turn every life situation into a positive one. Make it a habit to determine every event in your life and advance through those. Whatever your circumstances right now, that is only current reality, not a future one. Don't think this is who I am. That's what you were. You are the master of your own destiny. If you want to change circumstances, change your thinking first. Buddha, all that we are, is a result of what we have thought. Neville recommends that at the end of the day, before sleep, review events of the day. If some events were not as per expectations, replay them as want them to be. This creates a better frequency for tomorrow. Gratitude. The very first thing is to start making a list of things to be grateful for. You start to be grateful for all the things that you feel good about. Gratitude brings your whole mind into closer harmony with the creative energies of the universe. Gratitude is absolutely the way to bring more into your life. When someone appreciates for the things he does, he wants to do more. It's always about appreciation. It always attracts support. Dr. John Demartini, whatever we think about and thank about we bring about. Every morning I get up and say thank you. And then I start running through what I am grateful for with feelings. I don't get out of the bed until I have felt the feeling of gratitude for the new day and all I am grateful for in my life. Then, with each step towards bathroom and during shower I say thank you. This way I would have said it 100 times at least. All great teachers have emphasized gratitude maximum. It stands above everything else. When you feel grateful, you get more of the things to be grateful for. Think of even the things like clothes, body, appliances to be grateful for. Remind yourself to be grateful for throughout the day. Feel grateful in advance for the things that you want. Visualization. It causes powerful feelings. Always dwell on the end result. It is the feeling that really creates the attraction, not just the picture or the thought. Dynamic visualization is far more powerful than static one. Vision board could be very useful. When you have an inspired thought, you have to trust it and act on it. To attract money, you must focus on abundance of money to bring that to you. Every negative thought, feeling, or emotion is blocking your good from coming to you. The shortcut to anything you want in life is to be and feel happy now. Focus on prosperity. Money need not come to you from only job. When you have a lot of bills to be paid, imagine that you have enough to pay them. If you want something expensive, declare that you can afford it. The spiritual substance from which comes to all visible wealth is never depleted. It is right with you all the time and responds to your faith in it and your demands on it. Replace the age-old thinking you have to work hard for money. By money comes easily and frequently. It may appear to be a lie for a while, but persist with it. Wealth is a mindset. It is all about how you think. The good news is that the moment you decide that what you know is more important than what you have been taught to believe, you would have shifted gears in your quest for abundance. Success comes from within, not without. Ralph Waldo Emerson feels good about money. Feel good about those who are rich. Appreciate them instead of envying them. Declare that you love money and money loves you. Give money to get money. Give money with joy and it comes back to you multiplied. Do not sacrifice. It does not feel good. Some people are rich but not happy. Some are spiritual but poor. Life is meant to be abundant in all areas. Everything you want is an inside job. The outside world is the world of effects. It's just a result of thoughts. Set your thoughts and frequency on happiness. Radiate the feelings of happiness and joy within you and transmit that into the universe with all your might and you will experience true heaven on earth.
Before you understand others, you need to understand yourself first. Lisa Nichols. How can you ever expect anyone else to enjoy your company if you don't enjoy your own company? Do you treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you? If you want others to love you, you have to first love yourself and then love others. Look for the positives in you and you will see more of the same. Begin with a prolonged thought of something good about you. In relationships, we are used to complaining about other people. But for relationships to really work, we need to focus on what we appreciate about the other person. Then you find more of the same. Even if you are having a bad relationship, you can still turn it around. Take a piece of paper and for the next 30 days sit down and write all the things you appreciate about the other person. Think about all the reasons that you love them. The only person in charge of your joy is you. Others can only share in your happiness. Love everything, everyone you can. Focus only on the things you love and you will experience love coming back to you multiplied. Universe is doing everything for you and moving every good person to you. Our body is really the product of our thoughts. The placebo effect. You tell the patient that this is just as effective and what happens is the placebo sometimes has the same effect, if not greater effect, than the medication that is supposed to be designed for that effect. The human mind is the biggest factor in the healing arts, sometimes more than the medication. Healing through the mind can work harmoniously with medicine. Thinking perfect health is something anyone can do privately within themselves, no matter what is happening around them. All stress begins with one negative thought. You can change it with one small positive thought and then another. Dr. Demartini, our physiology creates disease to give us feedback, to let us know we have an unbalanced perspective, or we are not being loved and grateful. So body's signs and symptoms are not something terrible. Love and gratitude will dissolve all negativity in our lives, no matter what form it is taken. It can create miracles and dissolve any disease. A person diagnosed with breast cancer healed herself in three months by saying, thank you for my healing each day. She believed that she was healed. She watched many funny movies to just laugh, laugh, and laugh. She was inspired by another person who did the same when faced with an incurable disease and given only a few months to live. Dr. Ben Johnson, we all come with a built-in basic program. It's called self-healing. Our immune system is made to heal itself. Think thoughts of perfection, illness can't exist in a body that has harmonious thoughts. If you have a disease and you are focusing on it, talking about it, you are strengthening the disease. See yourself in a perfectly healthy body. Let the doctors look after the disease. When a conversation is about disease, change it to good things. Say that you feel good. Start thinking happy thoughts and start being happy. Press the feeling happy button as long as you can, no matter what is happening around you. Aging is limited thinking. Incurable means curable from within. Morris Goodman survived a plane crash and was told that he would be a vegetable all his life, will not be able to breathe on his own. He kept on telling himself to breathe deeply and promised himself to go back home on Christmas, and he did. We tend to fight everything we don't want, which actually creates more of a fight. We can't help the world by focusing on V-things. Carl Jung, what you resist persists. Mother Teresa, I will never attend an anti-war rally. Invite me if you have a peace rally. For a world situation, you are not powerless. Focus on everybody being in joy, abundance of food. Energy flows where your attention goes. Dr. John Demartini, when the voice and the vision on the inside become more profound, clear, and loud than the opinions on the outside, you have mastered life. Lisa Nichols, it's not your job to change the world or the people around you. It's your job to go with the flow inside of the universe and to celebrate it inside the world that exists. M.B. Beckwith, there is a lie that acts like a virus within the mind of humanity. And that lie is, there is not enough to go around. There is lack and there is a limitation. Hence, people are in fear, greedy, stingy. Lack becomes their experience. The truth is that there is enough to go around. There is more than enough creative ideas, power, love, joy. All of this begins to come through a mind that is aware of its own infinite power. 
James Ray, every great teacher has told that life is meant to be abundant. Robert Collier, the essence of this law is that you must think, feel, see, and believe abundance. M. B. Beckwith, there is enough for everyone. If you believe it, see it, act from it, it will show up for you. That's the truth. The universe offers everything to everyone there is no partiality. Lisa Nichols, recognize the beautiful and wonderful things around you and bless and praise them. And on the other side, the things that aren't currently working the way you want them to work, don't spend your entire energy faulting and complaining. Embrace everything that you want so you can get more of it. When you are praising or blessing you are on the highest frequency of love. It dissolves all negativity. So praise and bless your enemies. The great part of secret, empower and share with others. Every possibility already exists. You don't have to work out the discovery or the invention. The supreme mind holds that possibility. All you have to do is hold your attention on the end result and imagine filling the need and you will call it into being. Divine mind is the only one reality. Everything in the universe is connected. It is just one energy field. Competition is an example of separation. It comes from lack mentality. When you compete you can never win, even if you think you have won. By the law of attraction, you will attract more people and circumstances to compete against you in every single aspect of your life, and in the end you will lose. We are all one, and so when you compete, you compete against you. Get competition out of your mind and become a creative mind. Focus only on your dreams and visions. It is not people who are giving you things that you desire. If you hold this belief, you will experience lack because you are looking at outside world and people as the supply. The true supply is the universe, the supreme mind, the God. You are God manifested in human form, made to perfection. All power is from within and therefore under our control. 99% of who you are is invisible and untouchable. You are the designer of your destiny. Begin to generate within yourself a feeling tone of harmony and happiness. Affirmations, I am receiving every good thing. I am happy, I am abundant, I am healthy. I am love. I am punctual. I am eternal youth. I am filled with energy every single day. Charles Hanel Master Key System Affirmation, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Henry Ford, whether you think you can or think you can't, either way, you are right. Be aware of your thoughts, what I am thinking now, what I am feeling now. The moment you ask this question, you are aware because you have brought your mind back to the present moment. Do it hundreds of times a day. Remember to remember. Let it be theme song of your life. As you become aware of the secret, all your questions will be answered. If you are seeking an answer or guidance on something in life, ask the question, believe you will receive it, and then open this book randomly. At the exact place where the pages full open will be the guidance and answer you are seeking. The truth is the universe has always been with you all of your life, but you can't receive the answers unless you are aware. Be aware of everything around you because you are receiving answers to your questions at every moment of the day. The channels those answers can come through are unlimited. Take a moment and sit still. Focus on feeling the life's presence inside you. As you focus on the presence within, it will begin to reveal itself to you. It is a feeling of pure love and bliss, and it is perfection. That presence is the real you. As you focus on that presence, as you feel, love, and praise that presence, you will love yourself fully, quite possibly for the first time in your life. As you do this, all imperfections that have manifested in your life will dissolve, because imperfections cannot exist in the light of this presence. Neil Donald Walsh, so your purpose is what you say it is. Your mission is the mission you give yourself. Your life will be what you create it as, and no one will stand in judgment of it, now or ever. Erase everything from the past that does not serve you, and be grateful it brought you to this place now and to a new beginning. You have a clean slate, and you can start over right here, right now. Find your joy and live it. When I really understood that my primary aim was to feel and experience joy, then I began to do only those things which brought me joy. I have a saying, if it ain't fun, don't do it. 
joy, love, freedom, happiness, laughter. That is what it is. Do whatever makes you feel that. Do the things that you love and bring you joy. If you don't know what brings you joy, ask the question, what is my joy? And as you find it commit yourself to it, to joy, the law of attraction will pour an avalanche of joyful things, people, circumstances, events, and opportunities in your life. Jack Canfield. So inner happiness actually is the fuel of success. Be happy now, feel good now. That's the only thing you have to do. The freedom of choice is yours. Lisa Nichols, when you follow your bliss you live in a constant space of joy. You open yourself to the abundance of the universe. You are excited to share your life with those you love, and your excitement, your passion, your bliss become contagious. You deserve to be happy. Your life has a purpose. No one can dance your dance, sing your song, write your story. Who you are, what you do, begins right now. M.B. Beckwith, I believe that you are great, that there is something magnificent about you. Regardless of what has happened to you in your life. Regardless of how young or old you think you might be. The moment you begin to think properly, this something that's within you, this power within you that is greater than the world, it will begin to emerge. It will take over your life. It will feed you. It will clothe you. It will guide you, protect you, direct you, sustain your very existence. Now that is what I know for sure.